So this is me and this and that one and that one too. And which one do you think are online right now? You guessed it. None. You see, throughout my life, there are some things that I started and never finished. I should say there's a lot of things. Five years ago, I decided to make some changes. And this is how I did it. Jack of all trades, master of none. I'm sure you've heard this quote before. And to be honest, I hated it because that's what my life looked like. I'm a curious person by nature, always willing to learn the next new thing. But once I learned the basics, I just move on fairly quickly. Before changing anything, I had to figure out why I was like that. Speeding brain. Being curious is one thing, but wanting to try everything you see is another. Other than my ADHD, the other reason for bouncing from one subject to another was my speeding brain. My brain runs at a thousand miles per hour, all day, every day. I had to find ways in order for me to tame it or else it would control my life entirely. Once I start a project, I immediately ask myself if I'm really doing this because I'm interested in it or simply because it would be cool to learn it. Also, if I get another inspiration to try something else before completing my tasks for my initial project, I do not waste ideas. I just take a notebook and write it down for later. This is a good way to know if I'm really interested in a subject because enough time has passed from the excitement of the thought to the actual time to start the project. But that still didn't mean that I finished what I started. Analysis Paralysis Here's how it usually goes. I find a thing, the famous idea. I get excited over how wonderful this idea is. I now call it a project. So far, everything is fine until I start researching. I tend to want to know everything about this idea. I want to get into the analysis phase, but I want to do it properly. So I research and research and more research. Understanding the industry you're about to get into, knowing the strategies you're going to use to be better than your competitions, and the marketing you're going to use is all good and dandy. But the paralysis is when you haven't done any concrete actions towards getting to your goals. I find myself in research mode for weeks and even months to the point that I kill my excitement and when there's no more motivation, I just drop it and tell myself that it wasn't for me. This is exactly what happened to me with dropping videos on YouTube. I would research gear, lighting, thumbnail, you name it. In fact, all I had to do is shoot my video and drop them, but I didn't do that. That's what I do now. I do this with everything. I first do the actions to prove to myself and to my staff that it could generate some money. Then I research, plan, strategize. Comfort zone. As humans, we tend to like our comfort zone and getting out of it make us feel very uncomfortable and therefore we stay away from hard things and stay where we are. I read somewhere that the best decision you can make from a few options is to opt for the harder decision to make because that's the decision you're gonna learn the most and acquire more skills. When I felt discomfort, I used to subconsciously want to stay away as far as possible. It was a program that was downloaded in the deepest part of my brain. I still feel it to this day, but today I can't live without it. I try to look at life as if I was an athlete. For example, Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant now hold on, I'm nowhere near as talented or disciplined as these guys, but I use them as motivation to fuel into my life. These guys lived in the discomfort of life. They did things that the other players didn't want to do because it was uncomfortable. They understood that in order for them to be the best, they had to act like the best with their actions and not their words. I translate this in my life by always making sure that I check myself. That I take this decision because it was the easy route? Am I doing enough there? Am I getting too comfortable? Perfection. This idea of perfection is actually pretty ironic since we are known to be imperfect. Yet, we tend to treat ourselves harshly when it comes to imperfection. That's my case anyway. Today, I understand that nothing that I will produce will ever be to my perfect standards simply because perfection doesn't exist. I also know today that creativity and art is so imperfect by itself due to being subjective. And that's where the charm of arts is. 
The mentality should be, you make it, no matter what you think of it, you showcase it. And you know what, at the end of the day, the people will decide. Discipline. I won't lie to you by saying that you do not need discipline in order to succeed. Many of us do things that we hate but must be done in order for us to achieve greatness. I understood that I must keep the momentum of excitement in my projects in order to be motivated. But that motivation is not fueled to keep on going and finishing my tasks. I needed to be disciplined. But after listening to guys like David Goggins, Joe Rogan, Jordan Peterson, I told myself that these people could do amazing things with their time by being disciplined. And I can do that too. So at the end of the day, finishing what you started is a process by itself. But you need to understand who you are first and need to see what you can tweak or change into your lifestyle in order for you to always finish your projects. I just want to end with this. Don't be too hard on yourself. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Until next time.